Hi, this is Mark at Ding Dong's Garden. We have a large number of mulberry trees and, and a lot of different varieties. And this winter, our temperatures suddenly dropped and we lost uh, quite a few trees, but it gave us some precise information to share with you on what mulberry varieties would survive for us in zone eight. Here you can see in December, our low temperatures never reached 32 degrees, which is the blue line. And then in February, our low temperatures touched 32 degrees only once. But in January, our temperatures plunged to 10 degrees Fahrenheit for several hours and remained at 20 degrees Fahrenheit for 36 hours. And in total, it was under 30 degrees Fahrenheit for four days. 10 degrees Fahrenheit is really the bottom uh, range of our zone, zone eight. And if you live in zone 8A, which is the bottom of zone eight, uh, in general, it's possible for your temperatures to drop to 10 degrees at some point over a certain number of years. The vast majority of our orchard and in-pot mulberries survived and showed no damage, like the ones you're looking at here. All the buds were active when spring arrived and there was no discoloring of the wood. However, there were a lot of varieties that showed damage. Here are the mulberry varieties that showed severe cold weather damage, both in ground and in pot. And severe damage is where all the buds were killed and all the wood above ground was discolored or dead. And here are the mulberry varieties that showed moderate cold weather damage for both in ground and, and those that are in a pot. And moderate cold weather damage for us is where some buds survived and much of the above ground wood is uh, still looks good and has good color. But it's not all bad news. Here's some, some of our pleasant surprises. Uh, these mulberry varieties for both in ground and in pot that we thought would suffer in this kind of cold weather, uh, but actually did quite well with only some bud loss and slight discoloring. Again, the majority of our mulberry varieties showed no cold damage whatsoever. Hopefully you find this information useful. If you have any questions or if you have your own cold hardiness experience with mulberries, please let us know in the comments section below.